Good morning everyone. I am starting this vlog on a very grey, miserable, rainy day. It is tipping it down outside. I'm hiding from you a little bit because I'm very fresh faced this morning. I'm up bright and early. I have managed to secure the first appointment of the day to go and get my nails done today. I'm not gonna lie, they're not looking too bad, but I'm finding a lot of chipping with my nails at the moment. Can you see my thumb there? Like my thumb's chipped on that hand, my thumb's chipped on that hand, and I'm just noticing that they're not as strong as they used to be. So I think I need to have a bit of a chat with my nail lady about why they've suddenly been doing this because I have been getting shellac for years like literally years since before the pandemic and I find I have very naturally strong nails I don't get a lot of like breakage they're not very brittle and I don't find that shellac really damages them but the last couple of times I've had my nails done they have been really really bad like just quite weak and damaged so I'm gonna have a chat about what I can do just to help kind of like strengthen them and make sure that they're not chipping as much with this next appointment because I want to make sure that they last. But I've got the appointment this morning because I've got a really, really exciting day today. It's such a shame that it's such miserable weather because I think where we're going this evening would have looked amazing if it was like clear skies and we were able to like see over London but I'm actually heading into London for an event with Pandora this evening which I'm really really looking forward to so that's why I've not got myself ready yet because I thought there's no point in getting myself ready before I get my nails done especially seeing as though it's the first appointment and then I can take my time a little bit later and I'm going to do a little bit of an extra eye. I am loving the eyeshadow palette that I showed you recently from Too Faced. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to do a little bit of an extra a glam smoky but more of like a bronzed smoky eye tonight. I think that's going to be really, really nice. And I've just scraped my hair back. I've actually already been out and been for a run this morning. So I have washed my hair because I did in fact get soaking wet and I cannot believe how cold it is this morning. I feel like we've had such a mild autumn that it was a little bit of a shock this morning i'm not going to lie i don't know if you can see that i've got such a red nose this morning like even just sitting in the car here i am chilly i've just got my little phase eight quilted jacket on because i figured i didn't need to get too dressed up for the nail salon those ladies have seen me in my best states and my worst states i feel like nail ladies and like salon ladies they have seen you in every possible state that you could be i'm literally i'm hiding from the rain this morning i don't want to get out of the car i've managed to park as close as possible to the salon but i'm still sitting here like i've got to get out in the rain i don't know if you can hear it i don't know if you can see it but it is just absolutely tipping it down but but i cannot procrastinate anymore i definitely need to go and get these talons sorted so i will catch you guys in a bit Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix right out of the nail salon now and i've got my lovely fresh polish on oh i'm so in love with it this is satin pajamas it's just the most beautiful nudie and natural all the girls at the salon always say that that is like their favorite color for any skin tone like they just think it looks so amazing on any tone so if you are looking to get a nice little pinky nudie shade i would definitely recommend satin pajamas but right i'm gonna get myself home now i need to start getting myself ready for the event tonight i'm so so looking forward to this right so i am back from the salon now and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am freezing absolutely freezing i definitely did not dress warm enough this morning i feel like the temperature has just dropped like that i feel like because we've had such a mild autumn it's been a little bit of a shock to the system with the weather getting a little bit colder this winter saying that it's not even as cold as i think it was last year i was actually re-watching some vlogs from this time at last year of like bonfire night and like um you know just like end of kind of like november vibes getting ready for christmas and we are wrapped up warm like gloves scarves coats all of that jazz so to be fair i shouldn't really be complaining although i do need to put some lip balm on because i have got such cracked lips at the moment i don't even know how it's gotten this bad but i'm currently using the pixie this is the 
botanical collagen lip gloss and i really like this just to add a little bit of moisture and make sure that i don't let my lips get even more cracked especially if i'm going to be wearing um lipstick today i want to make sure that they are nice and moisturized and protected but how cute are my nails i am so so in love with them so this is the cnd satin pajamas and it's just like the most perfect pinky nudie understated shade and we've gone for a little bit more of like an almond shape with regards to my nails today i feel like if you've got short nails or you like short nails an almond shape is really really flattering because it kind of like elongates your hands and your nails without your nails being too long i hate it when my nails get to the point where like you know when you're on your laptop and you can hear the like clickety clack girls that do that i don't understand how you can so i like them to be nice and short and filed away and really neat and just looking so beautiful so of course because i've got the pandora event i thought today was the perfect day to make sure that i had my nails sorted because i know it's going to be all about the jewelry i want to show you what i'm stacking up what i'm styling the rings the bracelets oh i'm so so excited so i'm so happy that i managed to get to the first slot of the morning but i am back home now and i feel like my face might be looking a little bit flat because i've just done my base makeup quickly because you guys have seen it many a time i thought it was a little bit boring to show you and i'm just currently getting myself ready for the event although one thing i have been doing slightly differently actually i feel like it really does help with regards to longevity with regards to my base makeup is applying my concealer first so i really love the laura mercier this is the flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer and i use this for both under my eyes and just kind of like spot correcting and i really like applying it before my foundation I find that it just helps kind of like set in place a little bit better and then applying the foundation over the top I don't know what it just is a little bit more natural I find it's a bit more long wearing and I've been really really liking doing that recently so just a little tip for you um but I'm actually gone back to my favorite NARS foundation as much as I really like that Too Faced one I feel like the NARS is just such a fail safe like I know it's going to last me really well I know it's going to be great for the event I know it's going to show up great for photos so I'm wearing this today as well. Carrying on with the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna do my brows quickly and I'm going to use the Too Faced brow detailer i really liked this actually i think i was a little bit worried about it being too heavy but maybe it was just because i was a bit heavy-handed when applying it but because it's so much lighter than the dior one that i have i think it's just a little bit more flattering on me and i do find personally as someone who is quite quite a small head and quite a small face i don't like my brows to be too heavy um i find that i've got very feminine features and i want to kind of continue that some girls really suit the androgynous brows like really suit the masculine big fluffy like they've got the face shape to pull it off it's almost like they've got the bone structure to pull it off and i just personally don't think i do so i like to keep it as kind of like light as fluffy as understated as possible without being too thin like obviously i do have very thick brows and that's just something i have to embrace naturally and then i'm going to use the fluff and hold laminating brow wax i really liked this as well i think it lasted really well yesterday and it's going to be a true testament to see how well it lasts today at the event and then for bronzer, I'm going to use my Ride or Die Hourglass. I really like mixing these two shades together. I find it's a really nice, like, three-dimensional way of creating a bit more of, like, a bronze, a bit more of a contour, without it being too much. And I'm going to use the same palette to apply the slightest amount of blush. I like this, like, neutral one at the top. It almost doubles up as a highlight, and I like to just apply it just on the tops of my cheekbones, just to kind of help pull the eye up a little bit i'm just using a bobby brown sheer powder brush i like it to be really light and really natural but it's just a lovely way especially because it's an evening event that you're just going to get that glow on your cheeks you're just going to get that highlight hit i mean look at that i feel like actually i've definitely noticed a difference recently in terms of highlighter and how much it helps kind of like sculpt your face i think before i always just saw it as a bit of a way of like adding a bit of glow and actually it's a really great way at sculpting your face pulling the eye up and really kind of like working with the contour that you've already applied now i'm going to move on to eyes oh my goodness i'm so excited to use this palette it really is just the most beautiful thing in the entire world i love it so so much so i'm gonna go in with seashell first as a bit of a base color i'm just going to put that into the creases of my eyes and i'm going to blend that over the whole lid and that's just going to create our base i'm not going to lie i'm not going to go too ham because you guys know what i'm like when it comes to eyeshadow i'm a little bit sensitive to it and i don't want to wake up tomorrow with puffy huge hooded eyes so i'm just going to go really natural with it it's still going to be smoky still going to be a bit of a 
you know, we're going to have a bit of an effect from it, but we're still going to keep it really light and comfortable, I think is the best way to describe it. You know what? My original plan was to go really smoky and kind of like bronzy smoky, but the more I'm looking at these pinks, the more I am in love with them. I'm kind of really tempted by rose gold here in the middle. I think that might look really, really lovely. If I go for a bit more of like a warmer pinky eye, Oh, I've thrown a spanner in the works, but I think that might look really nice. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't often do a pink eye. I'm going to go with warm rose, and I'm just going to apply this kind of like a little bit lower just here on the lid. Just swipe it across a little bit. I'm not going to bring this one up too high. Um, I've done seashell really high up my eye just to really blend that out. Whereas this one, I'm going to keep much lower, much closer to my lash line. Oh, and I love that. That is so gorgeous. Honestly, all these colours are so beautiful, but I think I am going to go for rose gold in the middle of my eye. Seeing as though it is an evening event, I want to be a little bit more glitz and glamour now that we are going into the festivities. Now is the perfect time to start using those shimmery colours. That is beautiful. Okay, actually it's not. I thought it was going to be really, um, I thought I was going to have to be really lightweight with this, but actually I'm having to pack it on a little bit more. But look at that. How stunning is that you just get that little pop of shimmer. I feel like it's coming up a lot darker on camera. It always does whenever I do my makeup. I think it's because I sit right by the window and it just picks up on those colours a little bit more. So I feel like, to me, it's looking like a really nice, fairly natural, like, pinky shimmer on camera. I'm like, wow, this is heavy. But you'll see in a minute, it's all going to come together. It's not going to be too heavy. It's not going to be too stark. It's going to be a really nice, pinky, shimmery glow. And to make sure that my eyes don't get too heavy and too kind of like weighed down with the darker colours, I'm going to go in with this one. I love it when eyeshadow palettes have like a white shade and you can just pack it in in the inner corner of your eye. And it's such a great way of just opening up your eye and making it a little bit brighter. And just make sure that you're not being overwhelmed with the eyeshadow that's already on it. I don't know how you're going to be able to see the difference between my eyes. But this one, I feel like it's just a little bit open, a little bit brighter, a little bit wider. Whereas the other one can be a little bit weighed down with the darker colours. So it's just a great way of really naturally opening up your eye. And if you wanted to go a bit extra, you could even use the shimmer right on your inner corner to really help open that up. Okay, and liner, I'm going to go in with Truffle, which is the darkest brown colour they've got here. I mean, depending on your hair colour, depending on your skin tone, you might want a black liner. But I personally always find brown liner so much more flattering. It's just a lot more natural. I don't know if it's because of my fair skin. I don't know if it's because of my, like, brondy hair i'm not entirely sure what it is but i really like to use the brown liner i just find it a lot more flattering so need to concentrate whilst i do the flick we'll check back in with you in a sec Woo! it's all coming together it's all coming together i'm loving this eye look oh the flick really brings it all together i feel like it really helps with regards to like my face shape my eye shape just making sure that it's not too like heavy it's just really beautiful oh i'm so happy right let's cut the lashes and I'm really undecided on mascara. I can either go for the Too Faced at Better Than Sex, which is a little bit more voluminous, a little bit more va-va-voom, or I can go with the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume, which I really like, but it's not quite as big, but then this one has a bit more fallout. I think I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercier. I probably don't have much longer to use this. I've used it for quite a while now, so it might need replacing soon. I think that was a good call for the Laura Mercier Love. Love, love the lift it gives without it being too much. I think it's just a really nice voluminous mascara. I'm just going to apply some fixing mist. I realized actually I should have done this before mascara. I've been doing that recently, applying the fixing mist before I apply my mascara. And I find I get less fallout that way, but I've just kind of like let them dry, make sure that there's no fallout before I apply this. This is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. It's got rose water and green tea, and it's a really, really nice one. And then for lipstick, I'm going with a different Clinique lip liner. Who am I? I have recently been using Intense Blush instead of Sassafras. What was it? Intense Sassafras? I now use Intense Blush and it is what it says in the name. Just a really lovely blush, nudie, your lips but better kind of colour. And then for lipstick, I'm going with my favourite Code 8. This is my petite pink shade that I did with them last year. I'm just going to apply a little bit uh, just to kind of cover up the... Uh, 
the cracking with my lips at the moment. I don't want it to be too heavy though, um, especially because the event isn't until a little bit later, so I'll probably have to top up the lipstick, but, and that is the finished makeup look for tonight. I'm just going to be doing a slicked back bun with my hair, because it is tipping it with rain today, and I feel like it's probably not much point in styling up my hair, because if I straighten it, it will go flicky. If I curl it, it will lose its curls, so I feel like the best way to kind of style it up is just to do a nice slick backed bun, and then also, that gives me the opportunity to show off the jewellery that I will be styling up and I actually have a few new pieces for tonight that I have had new in that I'm so excited about but before I do I need to decide what to wear for tonight and I feel like this makeup actually goes really well with regards to the theme because even though it is an evening event it's not actually like a dressy nighttime event um so the theme for tonight is warm slash cozy and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have no idea what that means warm slash cozy so i'm guessing it's very like festive casual comfy vibes that's my kind of takeaway from it so i have a couple of different options so i need your help in deciding what to wear for the event because i feel like warm slash cozy is very very ambiguous but i feel like the makeup kind of goes like i've not gone to you know evening smoky glam like i've just gone for a nice festive little bit glam little bit sparkly makeup looks so i think it's going to go really really well with the outfits but i need to decide what to wear just to show you as well my makeup away from the window because i feel like as soon as i step like back away from the window it's so much less stark and less harsh but i absolutely love the eye look i feel like it's just so beautiful and glowy like it's lovely and pinky and bronzy very festive but still not too much and i love the skin makeup as well. I feel like the lip ties in really, really well with the eyeshadow. So yeah, just to give you a bit of a better view of that. But with regards to outfits, I've kind of got two, two choices here that I'm thinking would work with the theme really, really well. I might try them on and style them up in a couple of different ways just to show you what we've got. They're actually both from Karen Millen. You would have seen this one in a recent video. It's like a really gorgeous Fair Isle jumper dress, which is so, so beautiful. I'm thinking with like some knee-high boots might look really cute, like a long line coat if I belt it that might be really lovely then the other option if I want to be cozy and comfy but a little bit extra is this one again from caramel and it's a really gorgeous cable knit and it has the most extra sleeves you have ever ever seen now my kind of like I've got pros and cons with both of them because obviously I have to think about the jewelry what I'm going to be wearing this one I can't really wear necklaces with because I find it's a bit much this one I wear is going to take away from the bracelets and the rings but I still think it will look amazing and i'm thinking there's different ways i could style this up maybe like a slip skirt um i've got a couple of different options so i think i need to try them on and show you because i need your help okay, so option one is the gorgeous feral jumper dress so i've just belted it in the middle to give it a little bit more of like a feminine silhouette just to cinch it in a little bit and i've styled it up with my gorgeous knee-high boots i absolutely adore these do you know what i do have fake tan at the moment but i feel like the lighting is so dark <laughs> because it's raining outside that i'm looking very very pale so please do excuse that but i do have a couple of layers of fake tan on at the moment but i really like these i think the accessories go really nicely with the dress i think they pair really beautifully together this could be a really nice option for cozy slash warm Okay, option number two. I'm kind of loving this one. I know that it is obviously cozy and casual and cute, but it is still Christmas. And I feel like if you can't go extra at this time of year, then when can you? I mean, look at these sleeves. They're just absolutely amazing. So I've just started up with a little H&M satin slip skirt. It's quite cute because it's got the little um, like slit coming up, which I really like so I can wear the knee-high boots. I'm definitely think I'm going to go for leather knee-high boots because it is obviously tipping up with the rain. I want to make sure I've got kind of sensible practical footwear on for this weather. And then I've just started up with my little Saint Laurent sac de jour. I feel like this baby doesn't get enough love because it's obviously such a light colour. I don't reach for her as much and I really like her as more of an evening bag. So I kind of love this this is option number two. We've got a third, one last option, which I want to know your thoughts and on. And then option number three. I'm not going to lie. I think this might be the one that I'm leaning towards the most because I feel like it's still really like simple. It's really elegant. I love the black slip skirt with the knee high boots. I feel like when it comes to boots and skirts, it's a really fine line of like not overlapping them, but then sometimes having your boot go up underneath your skirt looks so flattering and is so elongating on your legs. I think it's really, really beautiful. And I love the fact that I 
can just kind of tuck the jumper in like really loosely, have it half in, half out, and then like let the sleeves do the talking. And I can still style it up with my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. So I think this is the one I'm leaning towards. I hate that I can't ask you guys this in real time because I'm really, really struggling. I think maybe I need to watch back the three videos because sometimes it looks different in the mirror versus on camera, but I think this might be my favorite option. I'm not entirely sure. Just let me know down below, guys, which do you prefer, one, two, or three? I feel like one's definitely the safest option, but because I just wanna be a little bit extra tonight, it is a party at the end of the day. I'm really wanting to wear this jumper. I guess the main question is just do I wear it with a black skirt or the cream skirt. That is my decision I'm kind of struggling with at the moment, but I definitely think the top, the jumper and the bag are definite yes. The skirts are what I'm deciding between, but oh, I think it looks really, really cute. I'm getting really festive in this outfit. I'm feeling very, very Christmassy. I think that just says it all. I think I need to wear this. Okay. It's definite, this is the jumper I am wearing. I've just done my hair now, I didn't wanna do it until I tried on the clothes because I knew that I would get a little bit messed up. Um, the one thing with this jumper is, I have rolled down the collar because I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be upright, but if it is, I literally have no neck, like it disappears. But I feel like rolling it down, I'm not entirely sure if it looks completely right, but you know what, that's how I'm gonna wear it because that's the most comfortable weight on me. But just look at the sleeves. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. But I have some new pieces that I wanted to unbox with you and show you before the event today. I'm gonna style up all of my favorite pieces, old and new. So I thought I would show you the new pieces that I picked up because I know that so many of you guys are going to love these. I'm gonna start with the earrings because I am so obsessed with these earrings. You guys will know I have been obsessed with the stud earrings. I've been wearing them every single day recently. I literally do not want to take them off. They're just so wearable. They're so easy to style. Like they're just so, so lovely. And I saw these in store the other day and I could not resist. So they are the stud earrings, but with a blue, like sapphire-esque kind of crystal in the middle. Look how stunning that is is oh my word i can't wait to put these on i think they're just going to look so so amazing i really like these studs because i feel like they're a really good in between size they're not too big and they're not too small i'm someone who and this is gonna sound really weird i don't have the biggest earlobes in the world some girls can get away with wearing like really cool why can i not find my piercing <laughs> some girls can get away with really cool like really big huge pearls some girls can get away with really totty tiny little things for me i need something in between and oh my word <gasps> That is just beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so stunning. I am absolutely in love with that. I feel like the blue kind of like sapphire-esque crystal in the middle is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word, that looks so expensive. That was under, it was under 100 pounds. I'm pretty sure it was like 80 maybe or even 60. I will leave it linked down below, but that is so stunning that honestly looks like it costs hundreds and hundreds of pounds it's one of my favorite things about pandora jewelry i always feel like pandora jewelry is one of those ones it gets complimented so much it looks so much more expensive than it actually is and whenever you tell people that it's pandora they get so excited because it means that it's like accessible and that they could maybe treat themselves to it i feel like sometimes you know if you ask someone someone where something is from and they give you this like really rogue brand sometimes you're like oh okay that's lovely but i might not shop there i might not know where to buy it i don't know what the price point is as soon as you say to someone oh thank you it's pandora they're like oh I need to head into Pandora store, but those are just gorgeous. Although actually looking at this, I'm unsure if I want to wear these tonight or if I want to wear danglies. Hmm, I do love them though. I think they are going to become a very everyday staple in my jewelry wardrobe. So next, I picked up a couple of bracelets and I feel like I was really lacking with regards to my like evening wear jewelry and I really wanted to add in a few more pieces and this bracelet, Oh my word, I feel like it's gonna be so difficult for me to show you until I put it on, there we go. It is the most stunning little tennis bracelet you have ever, ever seen. It's got this really gorgeous crystal in the middle and they did actually have these in a few different colors, which I thought was really cute. So they came in, I believe there was a red and there was a green. And my, I wish, oh, a blue would look really nice. I need to keep an eye out for that, but let me just put it on so I can show you. <laughs> moving the fluff out the way but this is what the bracelet looks like on i mean how stunning is that and i'm just going to give you a second because i want you guys to guess the price point of this bracelet i'm going to give you a second you don't have to comment below but just say it in your head how much you think it is this bracelet was 75 pounds 
I could not believe it. It looks like it is worth hundreds. Like it looks like real diamonds. It looks like so expensive. And when she told me that it was 75, I literally just went, come again? Sorry, come again, because I am just so in love with it, honestly. The fact that these Pandora pieces look so beautiful and at such an affordable price, they'll make really great Christmas presents as well. One thing I will say is that if you are currently prepping and planning your Black Friday wish list, I would definitely add Pandora to the list. Have a little scroll through. I will leave a link down below just to like my favorite pieces from Pandora, just like the generic page, so you can have a little scroll through, because I just feel like it's really fun for you guys to also have a scroll, have a look, like have a bit of a browse and save some of your favorite pieces because Pandora always do some really really good savings during Black Friday so make sure to have your wish lists at the ready at the link saved that you want to be shopping because you are not going to want to miss out on their sales I mean look at that it is just so beautiful okay and then the other bracelet that I picked up that I am just in love with it's actually a bangle and this is a new version that they've literally just released I'm so excited to show it to you they've done like a half version of this for a while but I I personally whenever it comes to bangles I like it to be like a full bangle that will go around my entire wrist but it is this gorgeous diamante bangle so you have kind of like half diamantes and then half bangle it's very tricky for me to show you let me put it on because that will probably be easier again moving the fluff out of the way but look at this bracelet oh my word it's so gorgeous again looks so much more expensive than it actually is i think this one was 80 if i remember correctly but oh wow look at that i love the way that this like the diamante detail goes around i kind of wish it went around the whole thing so pandora if you're watching could you please try and do one that is like the diamantes around the whole bracelet but i quite like how different it is i think that's a really lovely style and just such a nice like different bracelet again perfect for evening wear as i said i was really lacking in my like evening wear jewelry the kind of things that i had for like more you know dressy occasions and i feel like these two bracelets have just really filled that gap for me now i need to decide if i want to keep these earrings in if i want to go for like some danglies i'm gonna style up a few more pieces i don't want to go too ham tonight i think i just want to keep it quite pared back quite minimal just a few of like my favorite favorite pieces that just style up so beautifully together so i'm gonna do that now okay so i've decided to change the earrings as much as i adore the blue studs i feel like these pearls just go so much better with regards to the slick back bun a bit more of an evening look i think those studs are going to become serious staples in my everyday wardrobe but for tonight i think the pearls look so much better especially start up with the pearls of the necklaces so i've gone for the long pendant which i really really love do you know it's actually quite funny a lot of people don't realize that the pearl earrings are actually the same pearl of the necklace it's exactly the same pendant so i really like that because you can kind of like mix and match but yeah i really love the pearl necklace and i've gone for the pandora me little pearl chain because it just pokes out underneath the collar which i think is so so cute and start up with the pearl earrings i think looks beautiful and then i've just kind of gone for a mix match of metal so this necklace is actually gold not that you can see it so gold necklace silver necklace silver earrings and then i'm going for a bit of a mix match with regards to my rings this one in the middle is actually really old but i'll see if i can find something similar to link down below for you guys and i'm styling it up with a really gorgeous wishbone ring and look how good my nails look oh i'm obsessed with them um and then i've just gone for one of my favorite bangles start up with the new diamante one i think they look really really cute together and actually i've decided to leave this bracelet oh my goodness so much fluff this bracelet i'm gonna leave by itself because i just think it's so beautiful what actually might be really nice is getting a couple of these in my collection and stacking them up together maybe a couple different colors i think the green one would look amazing for christmas time um and then i've gone for my current favorite gold ring i really really like this one it's just like a little kind of crossover it looks like you're wearing multiple rings in one if the focus will focus <laughs> there we go such a beautiful ring it looks like you've stacked multiple together and then of course my halo ring i honestly i can't not wear my halo ring day or night evening events or not i feel like that's just a ring that i gravitate towards i was styling up so many different ones and i kept being like no i want my halo ring on i just love it two pieces so that is the look for the evening i'm so excited about tonight's event i always love styling up my pandora jewelry and i always find it so fun going to the events with all the other girls and guys and seeing how they've worn the jewelry how they've styled it up and you know what pieces they've chosen to wear so yeah 
also perfume of choice. I'm going to be wearing Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia, which is just one of my absolute favourites. Honestly, I cannot get over these sleeves. How amazing are these? But yeah, the English Pear and Freesia perfume is just such a staple for me. I always get the most compliments on this whenever I wear this to events. So I'm going to douse myself in this as well, so I smell beautiful. And I am ready to go. Sometimes I really love events that start later because I feel like I can just kind of take my time a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. It's so nice to be able to, you know, go a bit slower, choose my outfits, have a bit more fun doing my makeup, putting things together. I am so obsessed with the jewellery that I've got on. I absolutely love it. Also, I don't know if you can quite see my silk scrunchie, but I am loving it. These are the silk scrunchies I unboxed maybe about three weeks ago and I have not stopped wearing them, not stopped wearing them. They are the best scrunchies. I love the fact that it's green as well because I feel like it's very on trend at the moment. So I will link them down below because it's from a little independent seller and she was so lovely to send me some. So I want to support her local business. So I will link them down below because they are just such gorgeous handmade scrunchies. But I love the outfit. I've just styled up my look with my favorite coat from Ivy and Oak. This I picked up from Farfetch, which I know so many of you are so gutted my farfetch code is over i hope you managed to get some really lovely discounts whilst it was still active let me know if you want another code comment down below because i will take it back to the brand and hopefully get you guys another discount with farfetch you can do all your christmas shopping but yeah i've got the coat on and then underneath i've just got the little jumper with the slip skirt i think this is just such a cute little festive but cozy outfit and i am ready to go so i will catch you guys in my ride in london and look who we with. I should look in so cozy. I just cozy. I need to change my earrings. I can't oh. go into the Pandora event. Sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine going into a Pandora ambassador oh, event? Like, not wearing Pandora. <laughs> I love your coat though. Naked fashion. Oh, actually, it was funny. There was a recent vlog you were in, and everyone kept commenting, "Where's Charlotte's outfit from?" <laughs> so I had to, I had to find it on your Instagram. I think the jumper was Zara. I don't know. I don't know. I yeah, I literally had I to wearing. find what you were wearing was on it Instagram. When we went to Pandora. Event? Yeah, that was that. Oh, uh, stripey jump. No, 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 it wasn't. Was it, it was the black and white stripey jumper because I remember finding it on your Instagram. I was wearing and you a stripey tagged, jumper. Yeah, I can't remember what, when I it was. When I think happened. it was when we were shopping. Anyway. Oh my god, a long time yeah. ago. <laughs> I had to do detective work because everyone wanted to know your <laughs> outfit. But we have arrived in London. We are just walking down Regent Street at the moment and it's looking so fast here. I'm so excited. I think the Christmas lights will be going on this weekend. I thought they were already on. They're not on yet. I think they're turning on this weekend. I'm sure someone showed a video. I saw a video of them on the other day. Mm, I think that's from last year. No, no. Oh, literally. are they on? Jamie was here the other day. And oh my goodness. On, I don't know. Oh, I, don't I really know. hope that we're going to be here when it's dark so that we can see it them turn be off. Because oh, the event finishes at 8. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's looking all festive. These are definitely my favourites, the angels. I think they're so pretty. Um, yes, we're just going to find somewhere to grab a quick drink before we head to the event. I need to de-sweat. <laughs> it's that hot coat, is it? <laughs> yeah. But like, it's like middle of winter, it's not. <laughs> Actually, it's cold today. I'm, I'm pretty chilly. I, mean, I feel like I I've got very red nose. I this coat, but I've looked so stupid because my arms are being out. <laughs> like, okay. Why is she wearing that? Um, but yeah, we're going to go find a drink. We have just arrived now, I've got a taxi, I'm trying to turn around beside me, make sure I don't get run over. We've just arrived now to the, is it Ham Yard Hotel? Ham Yard Hotel. I think we are going up to the rooftop, which I'm hoping I'm dressed warm enough because it has gotten a little chilly now. I won't lie, I feel like November has hit with a vengeance, but really looking forward to it. Are you excited? She's changed her earrings now. <laughs> Repping Pandora. What lipstick's that? That's nice. It's your Ooh, I like that. lip balm. Nice. I might talk about my lip balm as well. But yeah, let's head inside. Then lip balm. <laughs>
guys, I am not going to lie to you. I was not up bright or early this morning after last night's event, but oh my goodness, I had so much fun. I just absolutely adore the Pandora girls. They always throw the best parties and we were literally drinking, chatting, dancing all night long. It was so, so fun and it really has got me into the festive spirit. I had to wear this jumper dress today. Seeing as though I didn't choose to wear it to the event yesterday, I was like, you know what? I have to wear it today. I have to honor the festiveness. I feel like everyone has been put in the Christmas spirit after that event, which was so, oh, honestly, so much fun. And the girls have put us even more so in the festive spirit because I have come home with the biggest Santa sack. You should have seen me carrying this on the train home. I was getting the strangest looks, especially because I was literally there with the biggest featheriest jumper in the world, carrying a Santa sack. Everyone must have been thinking, where has she been? It was hilarious, but they very kindly sent us away with some goodies. So I thought I would unbox it with you guys. Honestly, I had so many compliments on the jumper yesterday. I will link it down below and I definitely recommend shopping it. They actually have it in green as well, which I think is also beautiful. I feel like green might be even more festive and like even more evening wear because it's like a real like Christmas tree green, which is so, so beautiful. So I'll link those down below if you do want to shop them as well as this jumper if you are looking for some festive party outfits. But let's get into the giant Santa sack. You know, I do actually have a couple of these Santa sacks from the past few years from Pandora because they always send us away from their Christmas events with these. So I am going to start with what I'm most excited about that I won't lie, I do know what is in here. And I cannot wait to open this and show you guys. Now, if you don't already know, Pandora actually have a diamond collection as like a new kind of subsection of Pandora. It's their brilliance collection and they are lab grown diamonds. And it's something that I'm really, really interested in because I feel like the difference between mine diamond and lab grown diamonds the way that it's been explained to me, the way that I kind of like know that diamonds work, it makes me go, why would you not? Like it's just so much better for the environment. Obviously you know that the diamonds have been, you know, sourced in a really, really ethical way. And I believe it's carbon neutral, but I will double check my sources. I will leave a link down below if you do want to shop Pandora Brilliance because they have so many gorgeous pieces. But the girls very kindly asked me if I wanted to choose something from the Brilliance collection. And I have chosen the most stunning necklace in the entire world. Look at this. So this is a real diamond inside of here, which is just amazing. And I feel like just like a beautiful, simple, elegant necklace. It's just something that I reach for time and time again. I absolutely love wearing it, especially with just like a black roll neck. I feel like a little pair of studs. Oh, I am wearing the blue studs today, as you can see. One thing I was worried about them is like, would they go with different colors? Obviously I'm wearing maroon. They go really well together in my opinion, but yeah, I feel like with a cute little pair of studs, whether it's like the blue ones, some gold ones, something really, really simple, and a diamond necklace you just can't go wrong with. I want to put it on now because it's just so unbelievably beautiful and it is obviously like solid gold with the chain so it's just such a special piece i would definitely recommend it looking into this if you are looking to get like some christmas presents if you know someone boyfriends if you are listening right now your girlfriend wants the pandora brilliance diamond necklace i can tell you that for sure no girl would be upset to receive this under the tree but look at that oh my word Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love the fact that it's like kind of like a pear, like teardrop kind of shape. I feel like it's just so elegant the way that it comes down. Can I come closer? Look at it, guys. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love the way that the diamond sits in the pendant as well. And they do also have silver as well as the gold. So if you're not a gold gal, I know a lot of you guys that watch this are silver gals as well. I'm such a mixture of metals. Like I'm really not one or the other. So yeah. Boyfriends, if you're listening, your girl wants the Pandora Brilliance a diamond necklace. And girls, if you're listening, it will be linked down below. <laughs> I literally feel like Santa Claus going into his sack. So next we have, oh my goodness, my favorite eye masks. Maybe it was a Pandora PR package when I first discovered, but this is drowsy and they are the best sleep masks, eye masks that you will ever, ever use. They are silk 
and I cannot use anything else now. So they're completely different. Let me move this out of the way. They're completely different to like normal eye masks where they don't have any elastic going around the back, which is what I really, really like about them. So they're super, super comfy. This is a really nice, do you know what? I might give this to Alex actually. I might save this as a Christmas present for Alex because I already have this in pink and he has actually been really, really wanting one himself because they are just so good. As you can see, they are huge, absolutely huge. And they basically have Velcro at the back, but it's not like thick Velcro, it's not uncomfortable. And then when you put it on, this is gonna look so silly, but it basically covers like, the entirety of your face that you don't get any light coming in. I don't know about you, but I'm a very sensitive sleeper when it comes to light. Like I really wake up easily. So if I'm like on a plane, you know, and there's like obviously the unnatural lights on in the summer, I really, really struggle when it like shines through the curtains, but I'm a bit of a walking contradiction because I don't like black up lines. So yeah, <laughs> but I really, really like these. They are so, so great. So I will link to them down below. Such a lovely gift to receive. It must've been a Pandora PR when I first discovered the brand because I did discover them quite a while ago and I have raved about them ever since. Of course, we have a little box of Hotel Chocolat. Oh my word, I'm so excited. I might actually tuck into one now because I'm a little bit peckish and I love the Hotel Chocolat festive chocolate. I feel like they just do the best festive treats. This one, I think I'm guessing this is going to be like a coffee one. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that was like a coffee chocolate. That was so, so good. I feel like Hotel Chocolate is so good when it comes to like stocking fillers and festive treats. Oh, that literally tastes like Christmas to me. Mm. That's so good. And then lastly, in Santa's goodie bag, we have got a really, really generous gift. And I'm so excited about this because this is actually my first advent calendar of the year. I love advent calendars, like beauty advent calendars, home advent calendars, lifestyle advent calendars. I just love them all. And I feel like it's such a fun way to like count down the season, to try new products, like have a little bit of festive fun. So we have a cow shed 24 day advent calendar here and I can't help myself guys. We're going to open it. So if you have this advent calendar waiting for you and you don't want to know what's inside, then please skip the next couple minutes. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Look at the doors. Oh, I love it. Okay, which door shall we try? Number 17. In here, we have got a Cow Shed Calming Body Lotion. Look at that. And do you know what? I love these minis because they're like a decent sized mini that you can take away with you if you go away for the week, if you go away for like a weekend, overnight, and you don't want to carry like a full size with you. Okay, I'm going to go for number two. This will be your second day. Oh my goodness, it's a little candle. Oh, that smells amazing. What is this? It just says relax scented candle. I think that might be vanilla. Oh, it smells absolutely incredible. But how cute is that? Now that we are officially in candle season, festive season, cozy season, I just want all of the cozy comfy. Oh, I should probably stop there, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go inside at number 10. We have a cow shed cuticle oil. Do you know what? This is actually so handy because I forgot to tell you, um, but my nail tech was chatting away just about like how my nails were getting a little bit broken recently and like they weren't as strong. And one of the things she said is they're actually quite lacking in moisture and especially in my cuticles. And she definitely, she said to me, I definitely recommend investing in a cuticle oil. And so she said that she would definitely recommend investing in a cuticle oil. So that is very much appreciated. My nail tech will thank you, Pandora, for sending this over. So this has got oils of apricot, castor, and sweet almond. Oh, I wanna smell it. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh my God, I want to eat that. That's so sweet. Oh, that is lovely. So I will keep that beside my bed so that I can use that at night before I go to sleep. I am gonna do number 20 now. Honestly, I'm having too much fun with this. This is the problem though with the advent calendars. You get too excited and you're like, oh, I just wanna, I wanna open all of them. And also the question I have is when it comes to advent calendars, if you're asking for one for Christmas, do you get given it at the start of Christmas? And then you don't actually get a present on Christmas day or do you get given it on the 25th and then you have to open them all at once? How would you normally do it? Or do you normally treat yourself to an advent calendar? Let me know down below. Um, but in number 20, we have a Cowshed Daily Moisturizer. This is the Natural Therapies from the Heart and Soil of Somerset. Oh, it's just so, so cute. I love Cowshed. I feel like they're such 
great gifting products. Okay, I'm gonna do the last one. I'm gonna do number 24. So on the second to last day before Christmas, you will be getting an uplifting body lotion. Oh, that's so, so lovely. This is the essential oils of red mandarin, bitter orange and grapefruit. I think it's gonna smell very zesty. Oh yeah, that's really nice. You know, it's not actually as zingy as I thought it was going to be. It's like it's just like a really lovely, like, almost feels like an expensive orange. Do you know what I mean? I absolutely adore that. So such a lovely, lovely gift from Pandora. What an amazing press package to have been sent away with from the event. As I said, you should have seen me on the train. It was hilarious, but it was such a fun event last night. I really, really enjoyed it, seeing the girls and seeing all of the new festive collections that are coming out. Pandora have got so many gorgeous pieces coming out for the Christmas period. And as I said, when it comes to Black Friday, it's the one jewellery brand I'm going to be keeping an eye on if you're gifting for someone else for Christmas presents. If you're looking to pick something up yourself, they always do really, really great savings. So I will leave a link down below for you guys if you guys do want to keep an eye on Pandora's website. And make sure to check back in there on Black Friday. But of course, I will be updating you on all the Black Friday goodness that Pandora are doing. So make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter and follow me on Instagram as well. But I think I'm going to leave the video here, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me coming along to the, one of the best festive events of the season we're only mid-november but already they've set the bar high they've set the bar high so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one bye